Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here we share good food from Majority Kitchen. This is your weekly run through of everything we've been having for tea this week, starting from last Monday going all the way through till Sunday. So this is last Monday, this is from the chips chip shop, <laughs> this is a spam fritter and chips in that bag there with some batter scraps, so there it is with the batter on it and also some curry sauce. So that was delicious. So that was last Monday. On Tuesday we'd actually had quite a big lunch so we just had a cheddar and pickle sandwich and I also had a yoghurt and all those shadows you can see there are actually Millie hovering waiting for the cheesy crumbs at the end <laughs> and Lottie joined in as well so the cheese fiends right there with the scraps <laughs> So as you know, Wednesday we actually went away, we went to York. So I've tried to show as much food as possible, but I've also included a bit of the trip as well because I forgot to film quite a few times while we were away, so please do forgive me for that. So this is the Airbnb that we stayed in. This is in Stamford Bridge, near York, just outside of York. And we had the whole cottage to ourselves. It was just, just this, just for us, and it was um, joined to another farmhouse which the farmer and his wife lived on and it was in the middle of a working farm and it was absolutely beautiful it was so lovely to have somewhere where you could just step outside the door and be amongst the animals because because I love animals <laughs> and it was great lovely so this is the little kitchenette area and the lounge and there was a little door the doorway there up to the bedroom the stairs were quite steep so we had to watch what we were doing what they're called. Hello, do you want to scratch your bum bum? Mm. Is that what you're after? Hey, scratch your back. Oh, are you itchy? Are you itchy, son? Hello. Hello. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. I haven't got any food. I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't got any. <laughs> So that was the donkeys outside, just right outside of our our Airbnb, and there was also goats and chickens. <laughs> it was lovely. Do you like to make a run free? You get stung under the car. Mm -hmm. It won't go. Oh, there's the little ones, there's the little ones. I told you those little ones. Oh, I feel me. Oh, look at the babies. Told you those little chickens. They've gone. So after we'd unpacked, we went out to look for some lunch and we found a Taco Bell. It was on a retail park, I think it was Monk's Cross it was called. So we decided to go in. This is the first time I have ever had Taco Bell. And we got a crispy chicken soft taco. Miss Awe got the same. And some cheesy fries. We got this soft taco filled with, um, I don't know what the sauce was on the chicken. But it was just chicken, <laughs> not crispy and some cheesy fries to share and Mr. Howie also got um, by the way Lee is Mr. Howie if you're wondering who Lee was earlier on <laughs> um, yeah we got he got some extra chicken tenders as well some batter crispy ch uh, chicken tender things and we got the churros for pudding with some toffee sauce some dulce de leche is that how you say it and yeah um not impressed at all really <laughs> um i just thought well this is the first time i've actually tried it and i've been used to having my own homemade mexican style food tex-mex and it's just no i didn't and didn't enjoy it lee didn't enjoy it either really so 
I've included the bill at the end just to show you how much we paid and what we actually got. But I don't think we'll be having it again. Now Lee's had um, Taco Bell in America and he said it was amazing. Everything he had there was lovely. So it'll be interesting to hear if uh, there's any people from America who can tell us if it's the same. <laughs> so that was Wednesday. So on Thursday we actually went to the races. And it was my first time at the races. I'm actually horse mad. <laughs> and oh, it was amazing. It was such a good experience. We got all dressed up. I actually got Lee in a suit. And it was wonderful. It was absolutely incredible. And we won. We won the first race on Celandine. And it was wonderful because she was an outsider as well. I just had a feeling. I, just, I don't know why. But I just wanted to just put a five runner. And she won for us. It was amazing. So exciting. So, so good. So there was just some pictures for you there. We just thought we'd get a little bit more personal and share a little bit more with you and uh, introduce Lee as well. Mr. Howie is Lee. <laughs> so this is York on Thursday. Um, no, it's Friday. <laughs> we always go to Girton Henry's as well whenever we're in York, just outside of the shambles because they have the best donuts in the world. And these are the donut and tea or coffee deal for £3.50 and they're, they're freshly made I don't know if you've had fairground donuts but they're very very much like those and absolutely delicious so we're actually going back to York on Thursday this week and we're taking Georgia and that's my, my, my daughter and the grandchildren the, the girls and we're going to do some filming again so Georgia is going to be uploading onto her channel I will link it in below and I'll, I'll cover the food and Georgia will cover the the um, social aspect of it uh, I guess um, yeah so this is the shambles in York it's a it's a medieval street and it's actually real medieval as well it's been untouched since I think it is the 14th or 13th century and there's a lot of Harry Potter themed shops there and very very nice niche food places we actually um bought a lot to bring home and we're also doing a giveaway as well for a subscriber giveaway for reaching 1000 subscribers coming up so we're going to include a lot of the goodies that we will be buying on thursday for you to get your hands on as well so look out for that and you have to be subscribed to enter the giveaway as well so watch out for that we'll be filming that early next week i would imagine yeah, there's a lovely cheesecake place and a fudge place and lots of magical style shops and there's a little ghost shop it's fabulous i love it it's one of my favorite places in the whole world in the shambles and um yeah we, we bought some goodies to bring home so we um could have for tea when we got back that's one of the harry potter shops there that's the shop that should not be named or something like that i can't read that <laughs> the shop that shall not be named yeah lovely and there's a really really good sandwich shop further down and the chocolate shop that we love and they do little chocolate cups filled with molten chocolate and they are delicious and i think they're a fiver so this is what we had when we got back this is just a mish a mish mash of everything that we've taken away for self-catering 
So that was a Rustler's burger that you microwave, <laughs> some crisps that we had left over and a raspberry turnover, fresh cream raspberry turnover that we didn't get round to eating. So we had those. They were lovely, those turnovers. They're much better than apple ones, I thought. And this is the cheesecake from the cheesecake guy in the shambles. And this is the peanut butter flavour, cupcake style cheesecake. Very, very good. So delicious. The guy was actually from New York. We were talking to him. And we've been to New York. We've had cheesecake in New York. And this, this blew it out of the water. It was amazing. Absolutely delicious. So he does baked style, proper New York cheesecakes. So I shall be getting some more of those on Thursday. <laughs> so that was the the peanut butter one. And Lee got the lemon, I think it was a chocolate base as well. And he was, oh my goodness, I am going to get that one on Thursday. <laughs> and we're actually going to a, a fairy sanctuary on Thursday. It was right, right next to our Airbnb. And we drove past it every day and it, oh, we're going there as well. Take the girls there. That should be amazing. So this is Saturday. This is Chinese mixed meat curry. It was prawns, Chinese roast pork, beef, chicken, onions, mushrooms in a curry sauce with fried rice. It was a meal deal. And you got um, a soup and some mini spring rolls. And I actually ordered those prawn toasts separately. So this fed me over the whole weekend. So I had the curry one night with the fried rice and the sesame prawn toast. And on the Sunday, I had the chicken and sweet corn soup with some mini spring rolls. And it was absolutely delicious. It's one of my favorite things to get from the Chinese takeaway. Their soup is lovely. So I kept it quite light because I was going to have some treats from York as well afterwards. So this is their soup. It's lovely. It's really, really nice. And then I had the clot of cream fudge from the Shambles. Oh, it was amazing. Absolutely delicious. The smell from the shop drew us into the shop. <laughs> we could just smell butter and vanilla and oh my goodness. Very naughty. Very, very good. So I'm going to include this in the giveaway as well. Some of this beautiful fudge and some butter beer from the Harry Potter shop and everything. So do watch out for that. So that's it from me this week. I hope you've enjoyed watching what we've been up to this week. I'm sorry for the lack of food content, the food and recipes, but we're home this week all but Thursday, so there'll be a bit better content. Got lots of lovely food planned. So take care, and we'll see you very, very soon. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. I went to Blade and Razors. It was on the 9th of June. 1862 in a summer's afternoon. We took the bus for Bamberers, and she was heavy laden. And away we went to like Collingwood Street. That's on the boat to Blade and, and all that. You should have seen the sky.